All right, what is up, you guys? My name is Theros Up Zero. Welcome to part five of Satan Sinners: The Walking Dead. Just kind of give you guys a heads up. Um, there might be some audio glitch here and there, so I'm giving you guys a heads up. And also, I had to replay this game all over again because I lost uh, a handful of progress because I made like two hours and forty minutes of recording, but my my uh, my headset was overheating because of my room temperature and because of that I lost my recording and so I had to since I there's no um there's no save slots on here so I had to like replay the game all over again to get back to where I am so it's like oh last time I played this I was on was it day nine and so this one's a lot shorter it's day seven we're on day seven on here so and I also got like a whole lot of, I had, I was like on my way when I was getting, it took me like two days to get to where I am. So, and then each, each of those two days I spent like two hours. So I caught up to back where I was, but I got like a whole lot of the same things, like this thing that I lost. It's, uh, I got down back, I got more pills. Sadly, and um, sadly, you guys weren't um, that I lost my recording, so my apologies, you guys. So we got my first two barrel or double barrel, my bow that I used in the beginning and I broke it. But I got like two pistols for later use, and also I had to get my bayonet again and my pistol. So, there's like some things on here that I lost, so I had to like re-get it all back again. But hopefully everything's awesome. I hope you guys are doing well. My apologies for what's happened. Alright, uh, so let's go and get right to it. Man, I'm just so glad that that I'm able to, to catch up to where I was, but like... Three days ago, I was supposed to be, I was supposed to be already playing um, Bum Simulator, but that didn't work out because of this. So anyway, we're back to where we are. So this is the one I gotta get. I I did this one already, so I know where to, I know where to find out. Hey, tourist, something you need to understand perspective. The tower executed my husband. Culpable. Take the walk, they call it. Rooftop march right over the edge. 45 stories. The whole rotten collective gathered to witness the plunge. Even people we considered dear friends. Carmen, Micah, Todd and Silva. They stood there, watched, and I said nothing. Geary was no cannibal. Georgia just wanted him gone. It was only a matter of time before I was next. And then Umbra. You question anything Georgia does, she will manufacture whatever she can to turn the tower against you. She's got everyone afraid. So I got my hands on something they desperately need. A reserve key. And we got out of there. I searched high and low for the door, but it became obvious real quick. Better chance to find the lair of the Rougarous in this godforsaken reserve. I'm through with the search. Let everyone else kill each other over it. The key is just insurance for me at this point. Bargaining chip. In case Ombra ever gets captured. Not interested in brokering any other deals for it. That's as direct as I can be. As far as the next cache is concerned, keep your eyes peeled for marked up maps. Showing pockets where the walker population isn't so dense. Might be the only safe spaces in New Orleans. That's all I'm after right now. Rest of the cache is yours. Meds, ammo, food, maybe even a few surprises. Definitely enough to keep a pro scavenger happy. May. Okay. So, once I come back, I'll do uh, a similar pump because I have everything on me right now, but. So, now I gotta travel to Old Town to get what, I, what it is that I need. Old Town. Ooh, all right. 
So we're back here again. This time I don't have a. I'm not sure if I should take this. No. I think I should get um. Get my hands. So this one's not a blind playthrough. Just let you guys know too. Since I know where to go. Those guys are the sick zombies. I don't know if I uh, showed you guys that one. Ooh. Oh, my knife's almost down, too. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, darn it. I was trying to scoop back, but I couldn't. Take this one. I'm saving my. I'm saving that cool knife for later. That cool combat knife. What was that? Okay. I noticed that you guys don't see what I see a lot of times too. I had to shoot you guys. These things just keep coming. Get the fuck out of here. Darn it. Mm. I was trying to look for. I always have to look for that. Uh. That crosshair. I remember there was a zombie or a guy that patrols here too, but I don't see him. It's good knowing I don't see him though. Keep it that way. Oh my gosh. No way, this ain't that. What the heck? I do need that. Uh oh, where's my knife? Where did my knife go? Dude, I dropped my knife somewhere. Yeah, my knife's gone. Walls need work. North side has a fucking hole in it. Oh, man, where was it? Nothing better to do. Uh, okay, so I've okay. <laughs> I found my way. I thought it was that direction, but it turns out I'm wrong. Quit poking around. Okay. Can't believe it. Where did my? Is this my knife? This is my knife. Stuff starting shit with us today. Oh Some of them don't realize what a scumbag they are. Darn it. Ah. 
kind of day, man. Down to one bullet. You sure this is what you want? Come on, boy. Oh, come on. I just don't realize how bad they are. You must be stupid showing your face around here. <sighs> Haste not a strong enough word for you to- Gosh, dude. The amount of luck that I've gotten this far. Whew. Take that. Open this. Grab this. That. That. I don't need to read it. I just need to grab it and get out. My gosh, dude. I've been jumped so many times. How much how much room do I have? 17. Okay, that's cool. Wait up, I need another bandage. Darn it. Stamina. Stamina. Damn, they all do stamina? there can't really stick around out for a stroll Darn, so many zombies around here someone's close dude I'm trying to get out of here bomb I think I'm pinned. Oh wait. I've been to this side. There was an exit towards that side. Might as well just take these. Oh my gosh. I take if I just take like some random things Okay, I went through here last time, but I spent my um I spent my ammo Last time I was um, on that island It was crazy like I had this rifle with me, um, the one I have um, on this wall here. I'll show you guys. Uh, this one right here, this is the one I had. I was using this one at the time. It was pretty tricky to use, but um, I got used to how to how to use it and stuff. But um, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Good news is like that things will break down. Drop it down. This, this. Don't really care what they say. Just glad to have the items. Alright. That's for this guy. This doesn't go right there. Yeah. I think on my next one, I'm going to have to take this one. It's almost broken though. I don't think I want to take a... Maybe this one? Because I remember on my next one where I, where I gotta go. Oh yeah, wait up. I remember, I was supposed to get one of these little pills. There we go. And also one of these bandages. I could have 
sworn I turned you off. It keeps turning on automatically. Oh, wait, did I see my health? I did. 20%. How much is 20%? Oh. Well, look at it from here. It's a little bar. Yeah, I got everything back. I got the, the little recipes I found back as well. I was lucky I, I remember where to go to look for them. This one I found. I don't know. If, I forgot where I found this one. But I noticed I can make four rifle frames out of it. 45. I have a 45, right? I'm also out of ammo on this one, too. So I need this one. Because I have ammo for it. Good. Okay, so we have this one as well. The silent boots. Um, these are like hidden items right here, it turns out. I'm slowly getting used to the game. How it's how it needs to be played. This is we're all good. I just kind of keep an eye on the floor too because sometimes there's like photos. They had like photos laying around last time, and I noticed that they make their way around. Oh yeah, and also I have alarm clock to set to remind me knowing that I'm at two hours uh, limit. So when I get like to around two hours, uh, I have an alarm that's gonna notify me. So. As for this one, I need to hook it up right here. Okay, now I gotta talk to Casey. Casey, come in. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Manual open to the appropriate page. You ready? Let's do yeah. this. Great. Uh, let's start with the serial number again. Then I can calculate the flow requirement settings. Just like the first time through this. Okay. 562. 793-6-42. Okay, uh, let me look at these charts a second. So, here we go. Got it. Set valve A to 26. 26. Valve A set to 26. Number's green. Okay, good. Uh, valve B with A at 26 should be set at 39. Valve B to 39. Valve B to 39. Set. Two numbers green, A and B. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Oh, 67. I'm always turning the wrong way when I need to. Valve C set. All numbers green. Now the button, right? Yeah. Uh, press the round button and we'll be calibrated. <laughs> When this is all over, we should start a plumbing business, huh? The, the, the bunker buds. Sounds like a plan. But the name needs work. Tourist and the Lip Flapper Inc. Oh, that's catchy. Ha, ah, frickin' ha, ah, tourist. Anyways, this regulator needs to be installed in another pump near St. Vincent's. Same routine with the beacon light. It'll be on, so be ready for walkers skulking about. And once it's installed and you're back at the radio, let's touch base. Good luck. Gonna spend the rest of my day figuring out how to prevent the flood water from shorting out my radio. I'll talk to you soon. Alright. So I did that once, so now I gotta go over here. I don't know if I should do it now. Like if I go now, is it still gonna be at nighttime or daytime when I get over there? Probably nighttime. Okay. Might as well let my guys sleep then.
Day 8. Early morning, available supplies have dwindled, the dead have grown in numbers. Number. There's no S at the end, that's finally noticed. <sighs> I also gotta do this, uh, lady's, uh, uh, mission. So I'll go over there, talk to, or check out the, what she has in store for me. This one, I forgot what was this one. My husband was innocent. I don't give a damn what was on that map. It doesn't prove a thing. Georgia has such a stranglehold on the tower. She could say the sky was green and made of jello, then everybody behind the wall would nod, smile, and get out their spoons. Not me, and not my daughter. I'm going to prove to Ombra that we can rise above it all. That we can remain in truth. Which brings me to a confession, tourist. I didn't tell the full story of how I got the reserve key. Ombra called me out for omitting a critical detail. I am raising the kid right, I guess. To get the key, I had to hurt someone. <laughs> a dear friend. I almost killed her. In the moment, it felt like the right thing to do. No question. But I regained my senses for my daughter's sake. I could see her eyes pleading with me from across the room. Stop, Mommy. This isn't right, they said. I was ashamed. I had succumbed to what the tower had become under George's influence. A breeding ground for betrayal, forcing people to turn against each other to survive. Sad thing is... I'd do it again, in a heartbeat. Not proud of it, but it's true. There is a line with me, and when it's crossed, it does not matter who you are. I will do whatever it takes to defend what I know is right and protect my daughter. So now, you know exactly who you're dealing with, tourist. No bullshit. Like before, the drawing will point you to the cache. Beyond the location, the next cache is a mystery to me. No clue what might be in there. All I've heard is that it's quite a haul. May. Quite a haul, she says. I'm curious, what kind of haul is it? Or what's it gonna be? Sorry, someone was bug bugging my nose a little bit. Alright, so... Just gotta watch out for those sick... Those sicko zombies. Got a beverage. This time I know what 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 waits a, uh, what waits ahead of me. This time. That's what, last time I played this, I thought they were zombies. Taking their... Alright, good news is I got it installed. So that's awesome. Dude, I can't wait to get my hands on that. Oh, weapon finally broke. Alright. Alright, let me run over here real quick, see what's up. I was noticing I run over I run past this place every now and then. Off zombie. I always forget that you can grab them and push them away too. There we go. I always forget the light. I really hope you guys are enjoying my playthroughs. I put, I try to, I try my best to, 
to edit it out or edit some things. Uh, Grab my knife on that. Forget my guy needs to drink something. And for some reason, every drink that every beverage I keep drinking has hurting my guy. Like it does some damage or something. Why can this door open? Man, I don't like it. It's like I have to like push the door open towards me more than one time. But the good news is that I know what to do. That radio keeps staying on. It bugs me. It keeps bugging me. It bothers me a little too much. This one's like two bullets. Is there a way I could, uh... Oh, not that one. Nope. I can't. So I might as well put... Whatever gun that I can't throw away. Like, this one has two as well, so... Right, no, maybe I should take it with me. Because I'm very, very... I'm very close to running out. Now I think about it. Because when I run out of ammunition on my pistol, I'm not going to have anything to shoot. Then I'll have to... Because this one, I spent three bullets on. I need a bandage here. Okay, I gotta talk to Casey again. Hey, Casey. Feel like bullshitting for a minute? Y yeah, sure. I ain't going nowhere. Uh, I can put this book down. Lord knows I've read it enough times already. <laughs> what book is it? The only book down here besides instruction manuals is this hardcore physics book called Hollow Reel. Uh, no clue who left it. I must have read it cover to cover a dozen times already, and it still blows my mind. I mean, the whole book is about this theory that the entire universe, like reality itself, is nothing more than a hologram being projected on the surface of a black hole. It sounds fucking nuts, but the math supports it, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to wrap my head around it all, but science is not really my strong suit. Uh, what about you? You a reader? Not really. Music is my thing. Oh, cool. Me too. I play guitar a little. Oh, God. I haven't heard a song beyond the stuff JB plays between his sermons since I've been stuck down here. Hey, what kind of music do you like? Nothing will ever be Delta Blues. As gritty and real as you can get. I totally agree. <laughs> uh, honestly, tourist, that's one of the reasons I was excited to come down here to New Orleans. I had this fantasy that I was going to befriend a Delta Blues guitar legend and... He teach me all his secrets. Uh, so much for that. You never know who you might run into once you're out of there, Casey. Maybe you will get your chance to learn some secrets. I hope so. Well, on that note, I'm gonna go do some exercises. I gotta keep limber. I mean, it's so damp and cramped down here, my body's getting real stiff. It feels like I'm fucking 80 years old. Hey, thanks for the diversion, tourist. It's nice to be reminded sometimes that we're still human beings in the middle of all this shit. Talk to you soon. Alright, sorry about that. I was trying to get comfortable on my, my headset. It feels like it's like pulling down on my face right now, so give me a minute. Alrighty. Nice and comfortable. So we got this one. Gotta wait for Casey. So I'm gonna go over here. Travel to Shallows. Go to Tower Catch. Receive intel. So I'll do this one for now until my guy on the radio can uh, say something about me again or tell me where I need to go. Travel to the shallows. Okay, shallows. So back to the first the first map again. You guys good? Who's sneaking around? Another kill oh, for yours truly. Oh. What the 
heck? Make some cool. Dude, what happened here? Excuse me. I'm glad not every zombie is here to kill me. Or not, not zombie. Uh, person. <laughs> Yeah, this one's new to me. Just traveling to this side. Dang, that zombie's still after me right now, dude. You guys, excuse me. Wow, think it's wise to be wandering around? I don't know. That's the forest. Hey, can you guys help me? I'm a little lost right now. Hey, can you guys help me find where this one is? <gasps> Out oh, for a stroll? It's up there. You guys don't mind if I climb up there, do you? That's yep. the tourist. Gonna hurt you if you climb. <laughs> glad I have climbing abilities. Oh, I hate that. Somehow the hand gets stuck. Mama always has a plan. Gotta keep the faith. Where's my pistol? Dude. There's one reason why.
explosives? Sorry about that. You guys couldn't really see what I was seeing. My my bad. Okay, it's gotta be quiet. Hopefully no one doesn't hear me. I don't think anyone can cross here anyway. Let's look at that. It's like booby trapped. I could use this. So she's down there killing them. Yourself? Georgia calls the shots now. Pistol. Come to Papa. You think you can? <clears throat> oh. Gosh, dude. <laughs> Two bullets. Two bullets, man. I'm about to die. Let let there be nothing. Alright. Dude, that zombie is really thirsty for me, isn't he? Made it. I'm injured. I don't have anything to help me out. Good news is I'm at the safe house, so nothing won't kill me. Wait, no, I don't, I don't think I need to make a bandage. I just gotta get one from over here. A clean white one. A <sighs> sterile bandage. Ooh, man. Dude, I almost died just being out there. Sure, why not? Dude, that's unbelievable. I dropped <sighs> my rifle. I dropped my freaking rifle. That's unbelievable, dude. Something that I didn't. Like, there was some kind of glitch. A glitch preventing me from getting what I was trying to get. Also got a cool weapon. How much bullets I have? I can just throw this one away. This one as well. Might as well throw these guys in here. This guy, maybe. Okay, so it's gonna make some bandages. Where are those bandages at?
I'll take two. Forgot to leave the light on. Check the floors. So that's where this lady. It's weird enough that the stash goes in here, you know. Right in there. I don't want to read it. I'm holding on to the guts for like special occasions. Last time I only had one. This time I have two. I had three before, but I had to use one to get my way inside um, my first generator where there was this first red light and there was all these crowds of zombies. I had to use that one. Uh, you can use that to rub yourself and rub the guts onto you, and the, the walkers you just come and you just like become invisible. I might. I really want a bow, but at the same time, it's like if I'm gonna use a bow, I gotta learn how to use it as well. I think I only got like three to four shots out of this. How's the other two? Looking pretty cool. I think I might take those two instead. Sorry, gun. I'll take the five bullets and I'll leave this one because again if I die I want to come back here to grab this like I don't know like if I die because I died at Rampart last time and I couldn't get my bag and I had all my supplies in that bag and for me to get over there I had to like travel all the way across to the other side of the school and I didn't know what, what I was going to do. So I had to like drop everything and then I had to end it and then but it turns out that I overheated my oculus and then I, I had to restart all over again so I'm back to where I am. So Day 9. Early morning. Available supplies out the window. The dead have grown in numbers. Hello? Torque? Hello? <sighs> Yeah, I'm coming. Wait up. Oh, man. Is this that, that girl's daughter? I don't know if there's a drawing of her, or is this like... Something else. It can't be. This must be that girl I was talking to over to that, um... Where we had that meetup. Look at that. I like the light, the light reflection, how it works on this game. Ooh, this is total health. Beautiful. Yeah, what is it? Something's really been bugging me. I'm wondering if you could dig up some answers. I'm game. What do you need dug up? I need some information on what happened to the people who were in the reserve with me. The other members of my squad. When the water pressure was getting too much for the bunker to handle, sections of it started to lock down. We analyzed the systems and we were able to pinpoint the issue. They went off to fix it and left me behind in the reserve. But then the whole place locked down, trapping me inside. I tried to reach them by radio, but I, I got no response. I need to know what happened to them after they left. Where did they need to go to fix the problem? Near Rampart High School. Honestly, what happened to my friend Kenneth is what concerns me the most. We were close. The other three... We didn't part on the best terms. We didn't see eye to eye. Tell me about the other three squad mates. What was the problem? To be blunt, they were fucking assholes. Foster, Jess, and Trent. Just horrible people. Capable of horrible things. What's the point you're trying to make, Casey? They made a fucked up decision, okay? Kenneth and I were not cool with it, but they did it anyway. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not in the mood to get into it. Past is the fucking past. 
If you wander over to Rampart High, maybe you can dig something up. The gym is probably the best place to start. There was a disaster relief camp there that they were going to search. Find out if Kenneth made it. That's all I'm asking. Maybe it'll help me sleep better. Maybe not. I'll keep my ears peeled for what we need in the meantime. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is the one I, I died on. How's my axe? Oh, almost dead, dude. If my axe dies, then... Oh, no, dude. Maybe I should take this guy. He has 12 rounds in him already. Maybe. The school's pretty... Pretty big, though. Or the, the school gym we're at to go in. I have guts. I can use one of these guys. Get rid of any uh, trouble. But I don't want to use all of them. And I have pistol ammo. Got my National Guard knife. I might just, I might as well just break this one down. Sorry there. And then I'll just go ahead and, um, get the bat. Dang. That's pretty cool. As for this lady's mission, I'm gonna go over here and do go and see what's up. All right. Hey, tourist. The intel you've been gathering for me has been enlightening, to say the least. Georgia is planning on a mass exile in the very near future. Many lives are going to be at risk. I have a few things to discuss with you. I know we were going to try to avoid the face-to-face, -face, but the plan I'm formulating warrants it. Would appreciate your ear. Meet me in the same spot as the first time. Churchyard. Thanks for all you're doing. May. Churchyard. Okay. I just hope that nothing goes wrong while I'm doing this. And by that I mean like something that happened to me that I died from. Something that killed me. Let's see churchyard, rampart. I gotta go there. I know where to go. I don't need to go through that door. I went, I ran over here instead and I saw this. That's pretty cool though. I really like how this game is built. Just kind of let me look over here real quick. I haven't gone this way yet. Man, I went up there last time too and now I think about it. And I almost freaking died. Because <laughs> there was a zombie with his hat. But at that time, I didn't have a... Um, I didn't have a shiv with me at that time as well. You gotta be kidding me. Mm. Dude, I just wasted... I just wasted a good bandage. All because my character can't even climb. Come on. Oh. I really gotta make sure. Oh. Come on. Oh. What the heck? Okay. I really gotta be careful. Last time there was a zombie that walked by here when I was over there.
Casey with the goddamn whining. I'm about to put my fist through his teeth. We did what we had to do. Live with it. End the story. How the fuck that beanpole made it through basic is beyond me. Soft as a melted fucking marshmallow. Different story with Kenny. I respect the guy, but that doesn't mean he gets a pass. Christian didn't pass the stop. We had to protect what was rightfully ours. This bunker is our home. The supplies are our lifeline. If we did not defend it, we'd have all been dead within two weeks. Now we can last months, maybe longer. We can survive this. A brutal decision was made, but we have to fucking stand by it, unified. If Kenny and Casey don't fall in line soon, I'll have no problem marching them out of the bunker door with a gun to the back of their heads. Hmm. I didn't expect to run across another, um... That same bat, but in here there was like loads of bandages in here last time, but now there's nothing in here. Barely anything. Okay. Yeah. Just one bandage, and that's about it. Might as well just take some of these. For shivs. See those zombies because of these dumb lights keep flashing and this controller. I don't know what's going on with the controller right now. It's acting really weird. Like it's behaving a little weird. Maybe because it's getting hot in here. I don't know. I don't know where any more bandages. Wasn't about to let those bastards steal all our shit. It's dog eat fucking dog now, and I'm the mama pit bull. Foster and Trin understand what's up when you go through something like that together. Something that ugly but necessary. You develop a bond to the group, no doubt. The other two? Fuck them. They don't get it. Casey acting like he's innocent. Bunch of bullshit. A Kenny with his moral high horse routine. Not gonna put up with it much longer. I'm watching. They so much as blow a fucking fart in my direction. I'll put their asses down. Zero hesitation. Only the ruthless will survive this shit. Dang. I forgot all about her, right? Or what she had to say. So much as a fart in my direction. And they're dead. That's locked. This one will... Takes me outside, I hope. Come on. Oh my God. Dude, man, I'm getting sick over here. I think he ran this direction. Oh my god. No, what the heck? Okay. Okay. Oh, come on, move your hands. Thank you. Jeez. This is a full on school. Come on, don't see me. Ah, 
darn it. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. Follow the red, the red blood stain. Should keep them out and also keep them away from us. Didn't think I'd ever see another human being again. Is your name Kenneth? I yeah. How do you know my name? Casey asked me to look for you. He's alive. In the bunker. He wanted to know what happened to you and the rest of the squad. Casey's alive, huh? That's good to hear. I didn't give him much chance, honestly. Thought he'd have blown his brains out by now. Or shriveled away to nothing. Guess I underestimated him. If you make it back to him, tell him these few things for me. Tell him he's... A good guy. The guilt, it's not his. Tell him to let it all go. What happened at the bunker? He needs to wipe his brain clean. Tell him Kenneth said things right. Killed Trent, Jess, and, and Foster. Okay? You need to write it down or something? I'll remember everything. Don't worry. But I am curious. What happened at the bunker? Fuck it. I've got nothing to hide. We killed... dozens... of innocent people. Civilians trying to... to get into the bunker. When all the shit with the dead walking started to go down, we had orders to keep everyone out of the bunker. I, I don't know why. It, it didn't make any sense. But when it got too tense, we, we freaked, we mowed them down. Vietnam-style shit. Casey just stood there. Like a ghost. It, that fuck Foster started screaming at him to open fire with the rest of us. Later, I asked Casey if, if he fired. He, he said that he pulled the trigger because he, he was scared. That, that, it, that if he didn't, we, we, we'd all turn on him. Add his body to the pile. He said he aimed his gun up in the rafters of the church. I believed him. He begged me not to tell the others. He didn't trust them. But he trusted me. We were friends. Listen, my brain is it's, it's, it's getting foggy. I'm, I'm seeing shit. I, I, I don't know how many words I got left. End me. Please. One more question, Kenneth. You said you killed your squad mates. Why? We all deserve death for what we did, champ. They were gonna hurt Cousin Timmy. And I couldn't let them do that. I had to make sure. They were never gonna hurt no one ever again. Right, Uncle Tommy? Hey, 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 hey. Before you go to the bowling alley, blow my fucking brains out, yeah? That's the only way to remain human all the way to the end, right? Yep. Ooh. Man. What a sad thing to happen to this man. That sucks. <laughs> 
she was over here stuck. He couldn't get nowhere, he couldn't do anything except left to be starving. He was also maybe losing blood too. Ooh. I need that. Okay, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. We found out that he killed all his friends and his body's gone. So I'm not really sure what to do. I'm a little concerned because if I have to fight these zombies, I might. I just might have to. This school is like built really odd. It's like they have a, a wide. <sighs> they have a wide uh, gym. Ooh. Do you think I should take this? Sugar, water, sure, why not? Maybe. Sure, I'll take that. Drawn by a fourth grader. So you gotta grab the bat properly. Okay. I'll, I need the food. Also, I gotta move a little faster too because, uh, I don't want to be here when the zombies start going insane or when the crowd of zombies happen. Hey. Oh, there's a door I opened recently. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anything good in here? Hello? Nothing in here. Even if there was something in these large cabinets, it's just alcohol or empty bottles. Take another one of these uh, adhesive for my. Come on. Just a bunch of science. Dead guy. Let's see. This guy has a key too. Mm, let's see. Hidden room key special. It's an engraving. Literacy becomes knowledge. Knowledge becomes power. All right then. So I got a key that takes me to the hidden room. Wonder what's that all about. And I wonder if there's any good stuff that's gonna be in there.
Come your head. It's almost done with. Oh. There's no way. Okay, as for a hidden door though, I don't know where to look for that. Are you serious? Kill you guys. This one? Oh, but it increases my durability and weapons too, so I can't do that one. Dude, you're so annoying. Ammo. Okay. Still got some time. Okay, I've not been on this direction. I know where to where to go. Dude, it's, it's really nervous knowing that there's no walkers here. Like at least not one, you know, there's like there's none. Good, in a way. At least I know it's safe. It's kind of traveling back. I'm trying to look for a hidden door or a secret door or a hidden door with the key that needs a key. Okay. So there's nothing. about up here? I think I've been up here. Yeah, I have. I, I remember that. Down there, there's uh, my way out. I'm 
being spotted by someone. Come on, dude. Guys, gotta be careful. There's zombies. This is where it's coming. I want to use this. I mean dude oh my gosh I freaking had those guts on me and I lost it Okay, after this one, I'm definitely going to get out of here. are sweating dude okay my backpack is right there all right get out of here Where's my gun? Where's my gun at? I was lucky enough to get what I lost after I died. Last time I died, and that's it was in that same building, but it was a different location. The horrible thing about playing that, or about being in that area, is that your freaking light dies and you can't really see a thing because it, it's like it's more harder for you guys to see 
than what I than what I was trying to see, you know? Man, that was so terrible. Gumbo, gotta make sure I don't recycle the wrong thing here. Dang, dude, I got that key. I gotta rearrange all over again. There we go. Dang, dude, that was so terrible. Darn it. So I think I should throw these drinks away. So I'm able to make a better beverage. So which one gives me better stamina? That's one thing I want to know. Try this one. This is fifty percent. Wow. I think these are actually better than the the drink. I just I guess I just need one. So horrible. It was so terrible. Did I was I able to get what I needed? Search the gym for Trent. Just to speak to Casey. So I'll I'll talk to Casey and then that should be it. Or Trent. I think Trent was still around then, right? But man, I, I have no idea. <sighs> anyway, we're at day 10. You there, Casey? I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? Oh. Uh. I found Kenneth. You did? Is he still alive? He wasn't gonna make it. He begged me to put him out of his misery. So I did. I'm sure you did what was right, tourist. Shit. Rest in peace, Kenny, my friend. What did he tell you? He wanted me to tell you something. You want to know what he said? Yes, of course. What did he say? He said you're a good guy. Not to feel guilt about what happened outside the bunker. To let the massacre go. He told me all about it. From his perspective. But I am curious about yours. Well, if he told you what happened, why do you need to hear it from me? You know what you need to know, right? And you've told me my friend is dead, so... We can move on, yeah? 
I know it must be hard, Casey, to talk about it. But it's okay. Tell me what happened. Yeah, you're right, tourist. It's not easy for me. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Civilians, right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there, a coward. And now I don't sleep. I have a nervous twitch in my right hand that gets more pronounced every day, and the guilt is like a ten-ton weight crushing my chest. Are you satisfied now? No, not satisfied. There's more to tell, and you're not telling it. You can't sleep, you're twitching, you're racked with guilt. Why? Okay, quit badgering me, please. I'll talk, just... Give me a second to... Gather my thoughts. It's all fucking foggy. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but it's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's, it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she was, she was smiling. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me like he expected me to have his back. I did nothing, so he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. Oh, the sounds, a hat, a cross. Man, sometimes when I'm here lying, trying to sleep, I can actually feel my fingers shaking on the trigger of my rifle, even though I haven't touched the thing since the day it happened. Feel of the trigger. Did you pull it? Yeah. I didn't want to, but I did. Basic training kicked in. Follow orders no matter what. But I don't know if I killed anyone. I, I may have. Thing is, I'll, I'll never know. Maybe that's worse than actually knowing for certain that I did. You mentioned a hat. What hat? There was this old man, shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and skull. <laughs> and this fucking hat, I swear to God, it's the exact same hat my uncle used to wear. And the bullets drove it into the wall, and, and it, it, it hung there for a second, dripping. And then it flopped onto the floor. The image, I just, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm worried it'll be there forever. And I keep thinking, was it me? Did I shoot those bullets? You never know for sure, Casey. That's exactly right, tourist. And I can't fucking with that. Listen to me, Casey. Carefully. What happened outside the bunker? It's not your fault. That is clear to me. It was clear to Kenneth. You need to find a way to make it clear to yourself. Yeah, I know. You're right, Tourist. But it's... Uh, it's not easy. Gonna take a lot of fucking work. Hey, maybe when this is all over, I can hire you to be my therapist. <laughs> I charge 300 bucks an hour. Don't think you can afford that on National Guard money. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Look, tourist, this little chat, it's worn me the fuck out. And I've got rewiring to do to keep from getting electrocuted next time I use this radio. Not that it really fucking matters. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. Without that key that has everyone riled up, this is all a waste of time. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later, I guess. Oh man. I was supposed to be doing the other two uh, questions, but then ugh, my. When I was holding Y and I was moving my. my right stick.
that somehow aimed to the bottom towards the hat instead of on top where it was this question I want to ask and then this bottom one and then the hat question lay it, uh, last. It didn't go out as planned as I wanted but it just went straight to the hat and then I was like darn I was just swearing in my mind. <laughs> I was really upset right there. Just gotta double check real quick. Yeah, I'm, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to find that, find that um, key thing or where that thing goes. I think I might have to drink again. This is safe, unless I just stop here and just kind of like, kind of wait, wait until when I come back next time, and then I'll probably have to redo that conversation again and then uh, start off again. But I've got what was what was this one? Earn the waterfall key? What does it mean by earn? This lady's name May. So this key that I picked up, it has to do something with May then. So when I come back, we'll see what happens from there. Um, I think it's only like an hour and 40, maybe. Maybe like an hour and... Yeah, maybe like an hour and 40 minutes right now. So it might be all cut down to like another hour again. I really want to like record for like two hours and 40 minutes, but I don't want the the same thing happening again. Like what happened last time, you know, like my recording behaving weird. I don't want to go through that again. I might take another bandage. There we go. Kind of stick with three bandages. Oh, and this one too. I need like another pill. Just so if I come across another sick zombie. And I also lost my other pistol. Hmm, I don't want to do that one. Alright, so I'll go with this one again, and hopefully my freaking pistol doesn't disappear on me. Oh, not that one. I need to get this one. How much ammo is that? Three. So... Okay. So 25. That's awesome. That's all I need. I need like more ammunition. So hopefully I don't have to redo all this again because I don't want to forget that I have a pistol or that I don't have a pistol when I come back. I just hope that everything goes well and smooth. Uh, anyway, that's about it. I'll see you guys on part 6. Have an awesome day or night. And this is like as far as I went from being a blind or from being a non-blind playthrough because of... Um, you know, my incident I tell you guys from the beginning, so. Yep, so my next playthrough is going to be a blind playthrough, hopefully without any uh, long recordings or my room not becoming a, a giant sweat lodge like it is now. And I just hope that my recording goes well, no problems, you know, that kind of thing. So, yep. See you all around.